What's up guys, Isaac from Tech 2 here, bringing you another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to make your iPod, or iPod Touch, or whatever the freaking heck you have. We're going to be looking at how to make it run faster, or prevent it from crashing or going into safe mode. So I've got a couple of photos here that will help show you what we're going to do. So the first thing that you can do to make your iPod run faster is reset it. This is not restarting it, it's resetting it. And what you do is you hold the top button up here to turn off your iPod and the middle button, the home button. You hold both of those at the same time. I think it's for three seconds and then your iPod will turn off. The screen will go or it'll go black and then it will turn back on if you continue to hold both the buttons and that will reset your iPod and that should make it run faster the next time you start using it. And the next thing you can do is when you're switching themes, if you are having trouble with crashing um, from jailbreaking or something like that or switching themes with Dreamboard, when this screen pops up and you're preparing your theme, you're switching themes as you can see down here, do not do not click the screen, do not press the home button, don't be like going everywhere. Just wait until the uh, new theme is fully loaded up and everything switched out. And then that should help prevent any crashing from happening. Alright, so the next thing you can do is on your home page here, or wherever you are, you can double click the uh, home button which is at the bottom of your iPod or iPhone or whatever the heck you have double click it and it brings up these apps on the bottom a lot of people think this is like your most used apps or uh, I don't even know but you can scroll over and you'll have your music and stuff so a lot of people don't know about this if you hold down the apps you'll get little X's and if you tap these X's what it does is stops running the program so, basically what I think of it as, is if you were on your computer, and you have a whole bunch of programs open, you have Chrome and iTunes and Internet Explorer, whatever else you have open, that's like what all these are. Like, Fake Carrier could be Chrome, Pinger would be Internet Explorer, and what that does is it really slows down your computer, because it's using up your uh, your memory, and it's making your CPU work harder. So what you want to do is hold down <clears throat> and you just want to press the X on every single one of the apps. And this will make it run faster because you won't have any apps working in the background for you. And that is that's one of the greatest ways I think to speed up your iPod. So the next thing you can do, you can't really change this, but you can look at this. You can go into your settings, then click on your general, and click on usage. And here it'll show you your storage. I have 16.1 gigabytes available, and I've used 12.1 gigabytes. So I have a 32 gigabyte iPod, I believe it is. And it'll show you here what uh, all your apps are using, like the amount of data that are in them. And by deleting, so as you can see, or if you did see, my photos have a whole, I think it was like 3 gigabytes of data in it. If you delete your photos and your videos, you will free up tons of space. Oh, it's 1.8. If you free up or delete these apps that you don't need, your iPod will run a ton faster because you won't have all this excess data and your memory will be freed up. And, um, of course, just to clear things up, fast or newer iPods, iPod Touches, any iDevices will run faster and work better than older ones. This is because they come out with newer displays and newer processors and dual cores and all that computer geeky stuff. They come out with all that new stuff that works better and runs faster. So that's why I would actually recommend jailbreaking a newer iPod or iDevice rather than an older one because it will run faster. 
So that is how to make your iPod or iDevice or whatever run faster and prevent it from crashing into safe mode. Oh, and one more thing. If you're having trouble with the Dreamboard, I know we have a how to switch your iPhone to a Windows 8 phone. You can check that out. There will be a link in the description. If you're having trouble with that and you can't get out of safe mode, you can go into Cydia and you can search for uh, Dreamboard or you can go to your Manage tab down here. Click on Packages and then scroll down to Dreamboard. And if you uninstall that, that should prevent you from uh, being in safe mode when you restart your iPod or anything. So that should fix any crashing issues you have with switching themes in Dreamboard. So that's about it. And this is Isaac from Tech2 signing out. Thanks for watching, guys.